Well, hello everyone. It's Sylvain again with you, and you're looking at the back corner of my studio where the the rain came pouring through the roof. I put up some more insulation. Uh, not done yet, but uh, the insulation, of course, isn't going to solve the leak. I got a fan running right now. You can probably hear. Trying to dry out the carpeting that I've rolled back, and uh, basically just a big old mess. And the rest of the studio is just a, a jumble of canvases all over the place. <clears throat> and uh, while I was moving all these canvases, I thought, well, it's an opportunity to talk about another one of my recent canvases and have a little discussion and uh, maybe, uh, pardon me while I hope I don't make you too ill joggling this around here, but just trying to get it on my tripod. Come on now. There we go. There we go. Now we're in good shape. And I'll flip the screen around so I can have some idea of what the heck you guys are looking at. You know, of course, nothing works the way you want it to and when you want it to. There I am, my big old body in the way. So this painting, some of you may have seen online. Uh, what's it about? What's going on with it? You know, this question it gets asked a lot of uh, of art and artists, and <clears throat> what are we doing, you know, and uh, what are we trying to say, what are we thinking? Hopefully you can see all of it there. Well, can't really see. Kind of an odd angle, I apologize, but yeah, it's part of the problem of having a studio in such disarray. Obviously the uh, officer in the middle is rather prominent. Uh, what you might not see are uh, uh, there's a there's a Humvee back here that you can barely see and there's some military personnel. Um, there's a foot over there. She's kind of covered. You can see the top of her head. It started out as a little different painting and it just evolved as I went. I had a lot of military things. I had uh, oil companies, Mobile, Exxon, Shell, um, Texaco. Uh, over here you just barely see the remnants of, uh, I think that's a uh, standard or Amico, whatever. Um, and then there's an American flag kind of waving through the whole thing in the background. And then I put this pregnant woman in here, laying on her back. Uh, and then the cop, and that's kind of how it got built. Um, as you know, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a landscape artist. Uh, I'm more concerned with what's going on in the world around me. Uh, artists like me, uh, sometimes we adopt all sorts of labels. Uh, last couple of years, I just call myself a, a social, uh, uh, social realist or social realism or I don't know there's all kinds of labels I'm talking about my environment and what's going on politically and there's a, this last few years is just there's so much we're just bludgeoned constantly with this terrible behavior of the people that we supposedly are paying to protect us and serve us the police uh, the politicians um, it's just, it seems like the, the concepts that I learned in school about America ha, are completely reversed. They're upside down. Is it, we're living in a totalitarian corporatocracy where what the man wants is what the man gets. And we're just, we have this just temporary illusion, this very thin thread of illusion of freedom. Oh, we free country, you can do what I want. Yeah, until the wrong person complains about you, and then boom, crunch, you're in the system, life ruined, no chance to get out. Our, our, our legal system, although there are great laws and so forth, once the legal system's done chewing you up with whatever the corporate reality in this country wants to enforce upon you, then we go into the punishment phase, which is otherworldly. It has nothing to do with America. The punishment phase, the prison system in this country is archaic slavedom. It has nothing to do with America. 
It is the least egalitarian, the most heinous, torturous, mind-altering, mind-bending, unhuman thing other than just outright torture and death. We might as well all go to uh, an Arab country. Sorry, Arabs, but if you're in this country, there's a reason. Because if you're not back home, you're tired of living under that threat of life and death every goddamn day. Sorry, that wasn't real pretty language. But it's the truth. So yeah, I guess in that way you could say we're privileged in America. But boy, it's a thin thread, my friends. It's disappearing. We need to deport Trump and his entire cabinet to North Korea. Kim Jong-un didn't know what to do with him. Yeah, that'd be good. All right. <laughs> so that's my artist rant for today. And that's the kind of thinking and the kind of uh, struggles that I'm going through emotionally and personally as somebody who cares about my fellow man as somebody who cares about the direction that the world is heading, as somebody who is an artist because I have to voice, I have to have a voice. And I've been shut down in so many other ways <laughs> by this video, you can probably see why. Um, and you can see why I'm making these videos now on Cocoscope because I doubt that YouTube would let me get away with it for very long um, because it's a corporate tool now so thank you Piper thank you so much for creating a place where I can truly be me and free and let's do everything we can support this channel support the other creators on this channel support Cocoscope because it is part of that thin thread of freedom that we still have for now so you know the elements now I've described them to you you can see in this whatever you like of course I have no choice in that I'm just giving you an inkling of some of the thinking that was going through my head when I created it and it doesn't have to mean any of that to you that's the beauty of art. The beauty of art is, as I contend constantly, is that if it's truly art, if it's performing the function of art in society, then what it does is provoke dialogue. Good, bad, mamby, pamby, angry, what dialogue. Because art is a communicator of ideas. It's a stirring of the pot. Of a, it's a social experiment. I know that's not true of all kinds of art, and so I'm arrogant enough to question if those other things are art. They may be really beautiful craft, they may be beautifully done by artisans, but are they art? I contend that if they don't make you think, then that ain't art. So, <laughs> I'm creating a pretty solid niche for myself, I suppose. Or maybe I'm just entertaining, which is fine with me. Because all of life, in, at, at its fundament, is entertainment. For our frail, but somehow precious little egos. <laughs> so, um, I hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll make more. I'll try to keep them short. But I gotta rant. So thanks for watching. Support this channel. Please, please let me keep ranting. <laughs> Bye-bye now. And